for this experiment I'm going to look at transpiration rate in different plants. We can use this experiment to look at how light affects transpiration rate or we can also compare wind or even humidity so we can compare a number of different things. Alternative methods include the effects of wind which we are doing today, effects of light, effects of humidity or we can do a combination of factors. So what I'm going to start out with a beaker. I have a funnel of beakers uh, measuring, I have measuring cylinders with oil. So these are measuring cylinders with oil already measured. So we're using oil. We are also using measuring cylinders. So the first step we're going to do here is to pour our some water and I want to keep the same volume of water for each measuring cylinder. Then this I'll pour about So here I pour 30 ml of water in each measuring cylinder. Next step I want to do is to pour the oil. And again I'm using the same volume of oil. I want to make sure my water is covered properly. And then I'm going to immerse my plant into each of the measuring cylinder. Our next step is to get the mass. We want to check the mass of each apparatus. So our first one, measure that one, and that is 146. So this measured 146. That's our plant one. To measure a second plant, this one is 142. So they're pretty much similar in terms of number of leaves and also mass. So we're going to put these into the various environment. Today I'm going to look at wind. Some look at wind. Also you could look at light. Just depending, depending on what you want to do, you can look at light, you can look at wind. Or even humidity. So what I'll be doing now is is to put the plants under a windy environment. What I'll be using for my windy environment is a regular fan. So the, the plants will be here for 24 hours under this condition. After 24 hours, then we're going to remeasure the mass of these Apparatus, so this one is 140. The mass of the other setup here, that is 134. What you can also do, you remember your first volume of liquid, you can also look at those. So you can do both volume and mass, all right, to make a, a good comparison of how much uh, water was transpired or lost from the plant. But typically, again, it's very difficult to determine the exact amount of water lost. So therefore, we know the amount of water uptake. So the rate of water uptake would give, it, give us a pretty much good idea in terms of the transpiration rate. Now considerations for accuracy include one use stems of similar maturity use stems with the same number of leaves use plants of the same group example dicotyledon 
use the same volume of water obtain stems during the same time of the day for the results you want to look at the plants in windy condition versus no wind conditions and so you're going to take the original mass you're going to take the final mass and also determine the change in mass and then you calculate the percentage water loss the formula you're going to use here to calculate the estimated percentage of water loss will be the change in mass over the original multiplied by 100 percent for example calculations to determine the four percent will be the six which is the change in mass divided by the original which is 146 multiplied by 100 and so this example here will give us 4.1 or 4 percent for your graphing you can look at the plants compare the plants in the windy conditions versus those that are in the no wind conditions and so you also could compare plant one in both cases or you can also compare plant two in the same scenario now some questions for discussion one you can discuss why was it important to set up apparatus with the same plants but without wind how does wind affect transpiration is there any difference in structures of the leaves how does the differences in structures relate to water loss or water retention and at this time i want to say i appreciate you watching these experiments and also lessons and i want you to be inspired, inspired.